In this video I'll be talking about Windows 10 Game Bar. Some of you probably already know about this, especially if you use an Xbox One controller on your PC. But for those of you who don't, what Game Bar is, is it allows you to record video game clips, uh, broadcast, and also share your gameplay via Twitter. It's completely free and it's built into Windows 10. As I mentioned before, those of you who use the Xbox One controller will already probably know about this because all you have to do is press the Xbox button on the controller to access this feature. But for those who use a keyboard, you might not know about this, so let me just quickly show you guys how to bring it up. Alright, so here I am in the game Fassage, or as I like to call it, Fassage. So to bring up the recording tool, just hit the Windows key button on your keyboard plus the G button at the same time. Alright, so there it is. So now we could take a screenshot. We can record that, which records the last 30 seconds, I believe, and we could record from here, which is pretty much starts recording right away. Broadcast, and you got your microphone and stuff like that. I won't get into too much details, but I'm just going to record something real quick here. Alright, so we'll just hit the record button record from here from now all right and let's just take a walk around and you can see in the upper right hand corner we are recording if you guys are interested in horror games I suggest you guys check this one out it's not free, it's not a free game but it's well worth the money just wait for a sale Alright, so to stop recording, we can just press the Windows key and the G key to bring up this uh, thing back up. Or you can use the shortcut key, which is uh, Windows key, Alt key, and R key. So there we are, we got a recording. And by default, it goes into your, what is it, this PC and video and capture. But you could put it wherever you want, I guess. Now you can also use the game bar as a recording device for recording applications that you're using or something you're doing in the web browser. You, so you could use that as a tool, as an instructional tool for somebody. If you want to record instructions using this, you can do that. But just keep in mind that once you close the application, it will not record the, des the actual desktop. It will just record within the browser or the app that you are using okay guys so that is the video showing the game bar built into Microsoft hope this video was helpful if it was please hit the like button thanks for watching